Graham, the son of the late Billy Graham, is speaking before thousands in Raleigh. Good evening, I'm Maggie Newland. Hello, everyone. I'm Russ Bowen. Thanks for staying with us for this continuing coverage after the Panthers game. Well, Graham, a very well-known figure, not just for his father, but his often outspoken political views. It's all part of a statewide tour. CBS 17's Zach Dahlheimer live in Raleigh for us tonight at Coastal Credit Union Music Park. And Zach, you got a chance to speak to Graham about several of the issues making headlines today. Good evening, Russ. Yeah, he spoke a lot about uh, in, in regarding to politics, especially the recent impeachment inquiry. We'll get to that in a moment, but we want to tell you that uh, lots of people filled uh, Coastal Credit Union Music Park here behind me. We can still see a few people here. We actually just got confirmed more than 7,000 people filled the event here to see Graham speak. Now, during the event, Graham asked people to pray and support political leaders right here in North Carolina. Now, I got to speak with Graham before the event, who told me that his message is about telling people to have a relationship with with God. You can see people filling the event here today. There was also music before his speech. Now, one thing we asked Graham about, as I said earlier, is that recent impeachment inquiry surrounding President Trump. Here's what Graham had to say. They're fighting in Washington trying to impeach a president who the American people elected. And, you know, impeach for a phone call? You know, this is crazy stuff. Uh, we need to fix the problems, and I think that's what the American people expect from our politicians. Now, we also asked Graham about recent reports about a second whistleblower reported today. He says about that that it's a lot to do about nothing. Now, we haven't seen any protesters at this event here in Raleigh today, but Graham also has more dates set up in cities, including Greensboro and Charlotte, later this week. Live in Raleigh, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.